Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. This afternoon uh, I'm going to make some meatball stew and I'm going to really make enough hopefully for at least three meals for us. So that's six servings, possibly eight servings. But I want to show you this week I bought ground chuck from Walmart. I did because the other has been so good. Now this is 80% lean and 20% fat, which I thought would be better for the meatballs. I've already cooked carrots and potatoes, and I've drained off, there's the potatoes and the carrots. That's eight potatoes quartered and eight carrots, and then I saved the liquid that both of them were cooked in. So let's see, that's about uh, four cups of the liquid they were cooked in, and I've set that aside already got my burner on. No, I didn't. Now I do. On medium, and I've got some oil in there. Get, let that heat up. So I'm going to go ahead and dump my um, hamburger in. My big bowl. Let's turn this down so you can see. There. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dump that hamburger in. going to do is uh, add one egg and half a cup of milk. And to that I'm going to add a couple of dashes of nutmeg to the milk and egg mixture. One, two. And I'm going to add one good dash of ground cloves. Boom. That's it. So, now I've got, that's probably about three cups of, um, they're really uh, bread crumbs that are still somewhat moist because this bread was in the freezer. So this is three uh, slices of pumpernickel bread and three slices of uh, uh, French bread. And I just put it in the food processor and ground them up. So between the spices, and the pumpernickel bread, we're going to give this a little bit of a German twist. So now I want to beat my egg and milk together along with those little spices. And now on the ground chuck, I'm going to add some onion powder. It doesn't have salt in it now, it's just straight onion powder. about a teaspoon or so. I'm going to also add a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to go ahead and put some salt on it. All right, and I'm going to have to use, use my hands for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is mix in my breadcrumbs with the uh, ground chuck. got a big bowl. Now this was 2.25 pounds of brown chuck. Alright, so I've got it somewhat mixed in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my egg and milk mixture. And then just squish it up. So we're going to see how many uh, meatballs I can get out of this. Now, after I got the meatballs formed, I'm going to actually roll them in a little all-purpose flour before I put them in to brown them. And we'll actually let them finish cooking in the uh, gravy that we're going to serve this with. And it's going to be a stew, so... Yeah, that walnut meat is really shocking me, I'll have to say. It has been good. This is the fourth time now that I've bought it. Let me get this thoroughly mixed. Better than uh, Bilo's hamburger it is. 
I have to tell you all the truth. Now, I don't know if your Walmart's like the one that's in that little town close to us, but boy, the, the, all the hamburger that I bought was really good. All right, I think we've got this mixed up well enough now. So I'm going to pat it down. I want to try to make my meatballs about the same size. So I'm going to pat it down, divide it in half, half again. Now I should be able to get uh, probably four meatballs out of each quarter here. So let's see if we can do that. All right, so I'm going to divide that in half, and then divide it in half again. That ought to make them about the same size. And just form them, and I'm dumping them down in the flour. And what the flour is going to do is give them a little bit of a brown crust on them, and it will also help in making the gravy. All right. Here we go. I've got my uh, heat on medium. Now the uh, little meatballs will not be completely cooked. They'll actually finish cooking in the gravy. All right, so let's divide that in half. Then half again. Same here. Yeah, so putting the uh, all the breadcrumbs in there really cuts down on the amount of meat you're actually eating. And of course the uh, pumpernickel was whole wheat and rye. So, I'll just dredge those in a little, oh, wait, you couldn't see when I get a paper towel to turn that down. There. All the way there. So I'm just uh, dredging them, the meatballs in a little bit of flour and then dusting it off a little bit. There goes my clock. Never fails. Two o'clock. So we usually eat our main meal the day around three o'clock in the afternoon. So. All right, so dividing this section. I'm going to divide this section. Now the little um, egg will help hold everything together. You don't want to really be turning them until you're sure they're brown. Alright, they already smell good. Make sure you get all of these in. Yeah, this is sort of like a beet stew, really. So they'll all be somewhat the same size. Yeah, it's football Saturday, so if y'all hear the noise in the background, it's probably going to be a football game. We ended up with 12 meatballs. Get it looks like. Get them all in. 
here. Oh, Alright, so I'm going to go wash my hands and uh, once these get brown, we'll be back. Alright, I have turned these new meatballs over several times and they're brown enough as far as I'm concerned, but they're not all the way cooked in the middle. So, we're going to take them off now. Put them in a spatula. Put them on a plate. Now they smell really good and they smell German to me. So now we're ready to make our gravy. And we've already got, of course, some grease in the pan. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of tablespoons of butter to the pan. A couple of big tablespoons. And we're going to add flour. heat is on medium low at this point, and I want a whole bunch of gravy, so you just have to judge how much uh, oil and butter and all are in the pan. So what I'm going to do now is put flour in. This is all-purpose flour until I get the uh, grease really sort of equal amounts with the oil and butter. So you can sort of tell that by stirring it around. Now we need just a little more flour. Not much. That ought to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add salt. Not much salt. So we're going to make a lot of gravy. I'm going to go ahead and add another dash of nutmeg and another little one dash of ground cloves. Boom. That's it. And we're going to just stir that around until that flour cooks for just a little bit. And we're going to deglaze this pan with some cooking sherry. Scraping up the tidbits on the bottom. You know, it's going to be a very rich gravy. Alright, so I've got that most of those little tidbits on the bottom, so we're going to let this cook until it browns just a little bit, and we'll be back. Alright, we have got the flour, butter, and the oil uh, browned. I did put a couple more tablespoons of uh, flour in to just get the right consistency. I'm going to now add some cooking sherry, maybe, I don't know, half a cup. And then, I'm going to go ahead and add four cups of the uh, water that I cooked the carrots and the potatoes in. And then we'll just stir that and make sure nothing's stuck on the bottom. And don't worry about any lumps. There will be lumps, but you want to get that good taste. Some will bring this back to a boil. Let's see if I can't turn that up a bit. And we might have to add more water. But let's just let it come back to a boil and we'll see. So we'll be back in just a minute. Alright, my gravy has come back to a boil. 
So what I'm going to do now, now see it's, to me, this is gravy that's too thick. And of course, I don't want it that thick. But rather than add more water, I'm going to add a couple of cups of half and half. And what this is is half whipping cream and half whole milk. And I did taste of it. And it's certainly salty enough, but I'm going to add just another couple of dashes of the nutmeg. One, two. Delicious. All right. Now it's time to put the uh, meatballs back in. And they're going to finish cooking in this gravy. So I've just got the uh, burner down on a uh, little below medium low. And we're going to let these simmer for about 30 minutes and let all these flavors mingle and get to know each other. And remember, I'm making enough for at least two more meals. Yeah, I haven't tasted of the meat yet because, of course, it's not completely done. So we just want a slow simmer, which will be 212 degrees. Put the lid on and just let it simmer for about 30 minutes and we'll be back. All right, our meatballs are cooked thoroughly now. They're still bubbling a little bit. And I've got to mention this about every 10 minutes, maybe every five minutes, you want to go in and, and get a straight edge spatula and kind of scrape the bottom because it's got milk in it and that could stick a little bit. All right, so I have got my uh, these are Pyrex dishes with, that have the lids full. I've already put some of the carrots and potatoes in there and I'm going to put four meatballs in each one and we're going to let them cool off a little bit in the refrigerator and then I'm going to freeze them. So, so I'm going to go ahead and dip four of them out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put gravy on the potatoes and the carrots. Make sure that gets down low enough for the lid. Yeah, so this will be a meal, uh, you know, a week or so, two weeks from now. So there it is. I'll set that aside here. Uh, Y'all couldn't see. There goes my bread. Uh, we're going to have this with, uh, actually it's Italian bread, toasted on one side so we can sop up the gravy with it. So I'm putting four meatballs in each one and then the gravy. to go ahead and add the uh, carrots and the potatoes to what's in here. So this will be enough for us to have the meal tomorrow and today. So I'm going to dump the carrots in and the potatoes and just get some gravy on all of 
that. Yeah, so this, this might be enough for three more meals, but we for sure have some today and tomorrow. And then I've got two for the freezer. All right, so I'm going to turn this burner back on. Well, it's still on low. I'll just turn it up just a touch and let the potatoes and the carrots simmer a little bit in the gravy. And I'm going to get the iced tea and the uh, bread. And we'll show you what this looks like on the plate. So we'll be back. All right, we are ready to eat. There is the meatball stew couple of pieces of actually this is Italian bread and a, these are canned green beans of course I've got our iced tea ready so and here's the meal for tomorrow I put it in a bigger container and there are the two that I'm gonna freeze right there so I'll put all three of these in the refrigerator but these back two will go into the freezer in a couple hours from now once they've cooled off so there's our meal I was going to have some sliced tomatoes, but I forgot them, so we're just going to skip that. We'll have some of those tomorrow, and this will be the meal for tomorrow. All right, pretty economical, I think, and it's got a little bit of a German taste, so we'll be back. Uh, see y'all maybe on Monday. All right, bye for now.